Hello everyone. I am back today to continue my build of this model. But before I start, I want to just make sure that my sound is not screwed up like it was on my last stream. Um, so I just want to determine that it's not screwed up and not all garbled like it was before. So before we actually get into it, I just want to see how my sound is doing. Listen to myself here for a moment in my settings. And uh, once this comes up, okay. So I should have an echo here now. I can hear the echo and it's not all messed up. So it sounds like it was, it was just a, a one-time thing. I don't know what happened. Um, sound was messed up and I didn't even know about it. Um, though somebody had mentioned it in the chat, but they had mentioned it at the same time. They were saying a few things to, to troll me along. So I thought maybe it was just another troll. They were just messing with me. And so I just kind of blew it off and ignored it. Um, but then after my stream was done, um, as I'm getting ready to upload the video on YouTube, I played a clip from it and the sound was really messed up. So he wasn't trolling me at all. Um, <clears throat> but at the same time, he didn't really clarify what was going on. So I guess I, I thought he was just trolling me and just, just screwing around. But anyway, so <clears throat> starting today, we're on part... I think it's part four um, of building Mavericks F-14 Tomcat made by Ravel from the movie Top Gun. Last time we got everything just about finished and we started to apply the decals and that's where we had left off. Now I did continue with the application of the decals and they are all complete now. The camera doesn't really allow for much, especially for the all the little ones that say no step that are all along the wings. And there's a bunch of them that go down the center here. Um, but it's complete. It is totally finished except for adding the black wash to give it that aged effect, you know, that this thing didn't just roll out of the hangar and it's brand new. This plane's been around for a while. It's been in use. It's been sitting on the deck of the aircraft carrier. It's had the saltwater sprays slowly eroding away the paint job. And that's what happens on, well, just about every naval plane, right? So we need to do that. Now, under normal circumstances in the past, I have used to me is panel line accent color and just go over it and just kind of where I might get a little bit excess I'll just actually take a paper towel and I just kind of smear smear it so you get that kind of a streak effect and that that's that's worked really good for me in the past but I want to try doing a wash on it I've seen guys do it online on their videos and they do it with really great success. I have done it once. I did it in my last build of the M1A2 Abrams tank. I used a, a brown wash to, to give it all that uh, kind of that dirty look, right? <clears throat> and I was really pleased with it. Um, so I want to try doing the black wash on this and uh, I'll see how that turns out. And hopefully it turns out okay. So, I have my little water dish here that I've already grabbed and I need to put some black paint in it and then get some water and we'll go from there and apply the wash. Tighten that up pretty good. There we go. <laughs> so, I'm just going to take brush and I don't need a heck of a lot of paint in here. There we go. That should be okay. 
course, if I need more, I got more. Okay, and I'll go get some water. to add some more water to it to make it thinner I can or if I need if I've made it too thin I can just add more paint so let's get started here basically I want it to go in all the, the lines the panel lines but at the same time I want it to kind of wash as well my glasses off to see the panel lines. I don't know if there's any real right or wrong way to do this. It's just kind of washing over the whole thing. Once it's dry, you come back with the with the brush again and kind of clean it all up, all the excess that I don't want. like there's a panel line, the paint's not really wanting to go in it. I don't know if it's because I had it too not thin enough or what. Like the one there it went in pretty pretty good. It's definitely not as thin as the panel line accent. I just painted that whole fin, so I'm going to have to do that. Maybe I should just paint the whole plane, wash it down. See how that does. Kind of did it like this on the tank, just wash the whole thing down. Now what I did do, in order to protect the decals, um, after applying them and letting them dry completely, I did spray the plane with some flat clear to uh, just to seal all the decals on so that I wouldn't have to worry about them coming off when I do this or when I come back later and um, clean all this up. I want to put a little excess on here to 
Little new lines. Fill them up. Even though we've done a little wash on here, didn't fill right in the line. And I may have to come back at another time and put more on here. Simply because the lines don't seem to be filling in that dark. And I may use the panel line accent just to do that. Anyway, simply because it doesn't seem to do that much with this. We're getting there nice and messy. Take this off because I don't want to paint the glass. dirty now, doesn't it? <laughs> if dirt is what I was going for, dirt's what I got. Now, of course, the whole point of this is to put it on there for now and then clean up the excess later. bottom too. I think I just might wait. Definitely a rougher looking plane now. Another detail I noticed in the instructions, it wants, wanted me to paint the lights, like the, um, on each tail fin here, and then somewhere along this edge here, there's another set of lights on each side. And then I look closely at this thing, and they don't have the little markings to to paint the lights. And once again, the lack of detail in the actual mold is just so obvious. You can see, even though I washed this thing down really well, it, it's actually not in the panel line along here at all. So I'm just kind of redoing it along here. really done well in a few of them. It's really pronounced, but 
There's a lot that it has not. If I wasn't going to come back and read and clean this up, I think I'd just ruin this thing. <laughs> really looks like crap now. It's drying fairly quick. One thing I'm noticing right away is like a few of these the, the decals that say no step. Of course, it's it's not just the letters. It's it's like a little block of a decal uh, with no step written in it. <clears throat> and the paint washing over it, you can see all around that the edge of the decal. And uh, because the word no step is almost the same color as the plane itself. Doesn't look that that great. A few of them seem to just not accepted any paint on it at all. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see when it's all all done. The lines are not really coming out distinct at all. few spots that it's just I don't know I hope this turns out okay tell the difference where I've put the paint on where I haven't. <clears throat> okay, I think that's going to be it for that. The top side, I have to let that dry. I should put a little bit on the edge of this, otherwise this is going to look like brand new, while the rest of the plane looks like shit. So, I want to do just a little bit on the the edge here just to dirty it up a little bit. I do want to let this dry just for a few minutes 
and uh, it's actually pretty close to dry. What I can do is let's kind of dab right out a little bit of excess there, where it's being stubborn and doesn't want to dry. There. Okay, let's put this thing over. start on the bottom. Again, I'm hoping this is going to turn out nice. This will be now the only the second time I've ever used or tried using a wash like this. Uh, that's actually a, not quite true. I did try when I was once when I was younger trying to do this. I saw, um, back when I used to paint uh, D and D figurines. Uh, tried doing a wash on those and failed miserably it just it looked like crap it's like it didn't really work at all and uh, I couldn't I don't know back then I, I just had trouble trying to get the the right mixture so that it would work <clears throat> I'm gonna sweep these back again and uh, after I can't remember how many times I tried, five or six times. It just didn't work. And so I gave up on it. And then about a year ago, I got back into painting the models and uh, I decided to try the Tamiya Paneline accent and it worked great and I've used it ever since. So, yeah. Then I figured I'd try it with my tank and see how that came out. And it came out quite well, so I figured, well, if it worked on that, let's try again. Like I said, normally I just use the panel line accenter. Accent color, I mean, and uh, yeah, so if this cleans up nice, then it just might be my new go to. I'm not sure why, in some spots. It's going on nice, and in others, it's it's not. I'm not sure. Well, when I say it's going on nice, what I mean is it's filling in like it's it's spreading out nicely. In others, it's just super. Um, I, don't, I don't know how to describe it. You know, when the water just doesn't, the water's just beating. Anyway. So kind of, there we have it. 
Um, that's about it. I'm gonna let that dry. And then clean it up. Lines fell in. That's better. Fill in those lines. There we go. Sure, this side is the same. Here we go. That's better. Funny how I say that's it and then I continue on. Like it's not it. So every time I say that's it, I see something I want to improve on. on here but just don't they're not taking any paint but oh well that's it okay I gotta let this dry and then I can clean it up Definitely looks like an old piece of shit plane now. Tail fin. Really. Didn't look very good at all here. I have a little more. Hmm. 
That is one ugly looking plane. <laughs> Why isn't that camera focusing? What's wrong with you, camera? Let's see if I can do something about that. That's better. Hopefully my sound isn't crapped out again, like it did before. But, won't know for sure. Well, maybe I can. Let me see if I can do something here. How's the sound? How's the sound? Testing, testing. Yeah, it seems to be okay. Okay, so I'm going to take this water and dump it out and get some fresh water so that I can clean this up. And I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I've got some fresh water, clean brush, some Q-tips, and an ugly looking plane. So, let's clean, start cleaning up this a little bit, where the... This is not working. Water based paint that it doesn't want to clean up with water. Let's go. I'm going to use this towel because this has been used with a lot of paint. So let's try. Wow, I wanted a plane 
that didn't look new. And I got myself a plane that doesn't look new. <laughs> and it's getting hot in here, so I'm going to turn on my fan. And I'm going to hope that the fan doesn't interfere with the audio. So now that the fan is on, I just want to test it. It's testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Okay, it's fine. Good. I'm a little bit paranoid now because in my last session, um, the sound was so shitty that, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just really shitty. But you couldn't even hear anything I was saying. So, I am not impressed with this at all because the, water, the paint is not coming off at all. It's like the water paint has adhered to the flat clear. Really well. And now it's splotchy. And of course, my panel lines don't look nice and crisp like I want them to. So, I'm going to resort to using this stuff. And we'll see how it looks. Put this over here. Now this is really going to highlight those lines. You can already see just that little bit I've done right there is a huge difference. And then what I normally do is I take this and I just kind of smear it a little bit as, as it's drying. You get that kind of a wind-swept look to it. I've seen guys come back afterwards and clean this stuff up and it looks really fantastic. But to be honest, I don't know what products they use to clean it up. It's, they can't use thinner because it would just eat the paint away from underneath. I don't know if they use mineral spirits or something. That I'm not sure of at all. Would mineral spirits clean this stuff up? Do they use, uh, you know, just a weaker thinner? I personally, I, don't, I have no idea. <clears throat> so I just try and draw along the lines as close as I can, and then whatever excess I do, I just kind of smear it up like that. And that's kind of how I do it. And there was a panel line somewhere. Can't even feel it. Oh well. There's this one. Before it 
that's too dry. There. What I should do is invest in one of those scoring tools. So when I come across a model like this, where the lines aren't very deep at all, I can cure that by using a scoring tool to deepen them just that little bit. I almost think it's a bit of a futile effort at this point to do any more. So like I said, this is done. I'm going to dump out my water real quick. I'll be back in a second. So this is it. This is Mavericks F-14 from the movie Top Gun. You can see I've done that wash and now the panels all look nice and dirty and the plane looks really aged and worn. If I can get an underneath shot there. Hold it up there. You can see this plane has been has seen some stuff. You know, it has definitely seen some stuff. So, what I want to do, I want to get a picture of this just as it sits. This does look pretty cool. Just like that. Maybe one more on the other side. Different angle. Just like that. Good enough. Oh, maybe one. There we go. All right. Now, what I want to do, I want to show you guys the difference between this one and the Tamiya version of this plane. Um, just so I can show you the level of detail that Tamiya has gone through. If I had known the quality that this was going to be as far as how everything fit together, the amount of detail, the missing pieces, um, as I said in in my previous video, um, there's even armaments missing that are supposed to be there because they were on the plane, but they're not in the model kit. And then they add these missiles to put on the bottom of a plane, uh, which they don't have them in the movie. Maverick doesn't use them. So really all Ravel has done is kind of just taken a different model kit and thrown in a decal sheet and said, here's Maverick's plane. Even in the instructions on how to paint this thing, they want you to paint like some darker strip along the nose, like on this side here, all the way down, just underneath. And Maverick's plane doesn't look like that at all in the movie. Um, I'm not impressed with it. Um, and I don't know if because this is like a, a skill level four and not a skill level five. Um, I really don't know. 
what Ravel was was doing with this, but compared to, I mean, okay, yeah, the the Tamiya model costs a hundred dollars more than this thing, so it, yeah, you kind of get what you pay for, but there's things like the the jet nozzles do not look like what they're supposed to be. They have absolutely no detailing, um, no detail lines on them at all. And yeah, it's just, I've seen better, I've built better. And, you know, it looks pretty good. For what it is it's okay it's not the best but it's not the worst you can do a pretty good job and if you've got I mean I know again I don't claim to be all that great in the skill and stuff like that and guys will put so much detail and effort into this thing and they do a fantastic job and it'll look way better than mine um, and kudos on them that's that's freaking awesome um, but I'm going to call this done. I don't think I really need to add any more to it. I think it's good enough as it is. The wash didn't quite come out as well as I thought it would. Maybe if I hadn't done the flat clear and had just left it and then done the flat clear after the wash, that might have made it turn out better. But it kind of come out a little bit blotchy and then it doesn't want to clean up. And I mean, the watercolor cleans up. It's it's supposed to clean up, but like over here on this fin, if I should bring it up to the camera there, you see it's blotchy and it's spotted and it doesn't look good at all. Um, yeah. But in any case, we're gonna call this done. I'm not gonna work on it anymore. It's, it's done, it's good enough. So that is, Again, once again, the F-14 Tomcat from the movie Top Gun by Reveal. And, yeah, I, uh, it's good. It's all right. That's pretty cool that it comes off like that. I wonder if I can set that up. Will it stay up? No. I'd have to glue it if I wanted to keep the canopy open, I guess. Yeah, that's okay. Pretty good job. I did like the fact that, uh, you know, there's there's guys that like decals for the instrument panels, and there's guys that don't. Um, painting the instrument panels has always been a little bit of a challenge for me, just because my brush is not that great. Um, but it's okay. You know, can't really complain too much. So I like the fact that I have the option of doing the decals. Um, the panels were molded to have all the buttons on them already. Um, so that gave me the option. I could just paint them or I could sand them down smooth and then put the decals on. And that was cool that I had that option to do that. So that is one thing I did like. Um, I didn't like the fact that there were pieces missing from the front landing gear that were supposed to go on that were not included in the kit at all. Um, there's fuel tanks that are supposed to go on the plane that were not included in the kit at all. Um, it's the little things like that that make me just not all that happy with it. But that being said, I do have something that will improve it a little bit, I think anyway. Um, I have to go get it. Um, I will be back in a minute.
Okay, now what I have, I do have something that will solve all my problems with this quite quickly. And that's this. Just like that. Solved.